Hello YouTube, it's me Vic Piano and for today I'm going to show you something special. Now what did I want to show you? I want to show you how to um, play around this high life. This is a very very popular high life groove. I know a lot of people have converted it to a gospel song. Um, people now sing, you and I will serve the Lord, you and I will praise the Lord, you know. But um, I, I think the good version, we have also the version we say, you and I will live as one. Well. So whichever way you want to apply it, if you want to apply it in the secular version, you want to apply it in the gospel version, it's still going to work. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you're just joining, welcome. Thanks for joining in. Uh, my name is Vipiano, you already know me. Okay. <music> So there are a lot of things I have to play and I'm trying to show. I'm playing from my heart here, so you have to bear with me and get your book, pen, the paper, watch over and over again where you really don't understand so you get through. Okay, so uh before I start up um this loop, this loop so there's a loop, um it's uploaded on my beat store. You can check the link in the video description, in the video description, and you check the link. To download this loop it's there you can go download it up on my website okay so let's go so it sounds like this you and I will okay so basically I'm using my jazz guitar so on my left hand I'm just using any bass line can Alright, so let's go. Let me see. I'm going to show you. Remember the progression is which is one, one, one. So you're on your one. So there's a passing movement. This is two. This is two. Then one. Then five. So basically, just one, a passing movement, two. One five, one very easy. But I'm going to show you how to play around those movements. Okay, so let's go. For, so for a start, let's see what we have for now. Okay, so um, on my left hand, let me check um, something I'm coming. Okay, so let's go. So, so basically, you start with bass line. So let's go. Okay, eight, five, five, nine, five, five, eight. For all this period, you be on your progression, your one progression. So eight, five. So let's let's we are, we are, we move to. Let's play until we get to the passing chord. So you're just playing eight, five, five, seven, nine, five, five, eight. Then I'm going to show you what you play on your right hand. Just doing so. 
for this first video, I'm just going to show you how to hold some groove, how to hold the groove. Then maybe from my last video, I'll try to show you how to solo on it. I'm going to show you how to solo on it. So don't forget to like this video. Drop a comment. I need these comments. I need this like very very important. Share this video. So basically, if you can't do, it's giving you issue. Just do eight five nine five. So eight five nine five. You know, some people have issues with they are playing with left hand and right hand together. And I've always told you, I have the premium material you can get about hand independence, which I thought it shows you how you can spread your mind to play whatever you want to play at each hand. Do you understand? But for you, you can just play eight five nine five if you're having issue playing eight eight five nine nine five. So then on this hand. So what am I playing? Eight eight five three eight five three eight five three seven four two seven four two seven four two. So okay. So let's play it again. So let's play. Let me give it space so that uh, so now so play it now go. So I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you the passing chord there, the passing note. So which is it? So this is it, which is you're playing your flat seven five three, flat seven five three. Flat seven five three. So let's go again. So when you play this, you're playing your four on your left hand, and on your right hand. So you're playing it, you're playing it more like an apego. So four, 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 six, eight, ten, eight, six, four. The second one. Three, three, five. Seven nine seven five three. So let's go. So the second, the last one, which is two, you're playing two, two, four, six, eight, six, four, two. You wanna that you 
For some time now, I've, I've concentrated on splitting, 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 splitting. If there is a basis, it's very easy. If there is a basis, you just play your normal vamp on your right hand. Remember, I've shown you how to vamp. Uh, you just play your normal vamp. You can just play it one one chord, depending on how you want to play it. Use your marimba sound or any sound you want to use. So it's more it's more easy playing when there's a basis and when there's no basis. So I'm concentrating on the difficult one now. Okay, so let's run down. Let's run down. show you something like this I'm going to show you something like this I'm going to show you some ending notes when you want to use it to spice up here in the sound. You're playing jazz inside high life. Crazy. Crazy. Adding jazz inside high life. That's mad. So, like this video. I have a lot of things to show you. I have a lot of content. Don't forget to always check in. Subscribe if you've not subscribed. Please, please subscribe if you've not subscribed. And um, i see you next episode of this tutorial. Don't forget, you can download this uh, instrumental. This loop on my website. You can either download the one that has a voice or the one that has no voice. It's your choice. It's there for you. All right. Take care.